in and take a seat. We just got the second letter from Paul, and he's clearing up some things. So get your writing utensils. It's time to learn. Let's get it. Take a seat. Let's get into this. There's been a challenge to the truth, but there's defense for this. Since Paul's first letter, there's been need for another one. Cause the other one was compromised by a cover up. Another one. Cause some of us thought Paul was sending away. So look, let's just start from the beginning. First, Paul felt morally indebted just to give thanks for our faith and increased love toward the saints. For this reason, Paul bragged on us. Because we all persevered through attacks on us. And he's attacks on evidence of his righteous judgment. Proof we've been proven worthy of a righteous covenant. And don't sweat the haters because God is just. So punish them and give you rest. So in God we trust. So until the Lord comes back to take us home, we persevere through afflictions, baby, and stand strong. Intent bent on contradicting the first letter Paul sent. Okay. So this is Paul's response to end the myth that says the day of the Lord is in our midst. Don't let anyone deceive you. I beseech you. Hold fast to the lessons in which we teach you. Remember, when Paul was with us, he said these things. First rebellion, then comes the lawless man on the scene. Then lawlessness, all of this. So man will call on his name as he's exalting his name to where the fathers is. But at this point, we've been long gone with Christ. The rapture is a snatch. Coming back to life, they separate. The day 